What's up everyone, Charn here and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to import multiple sheet metal flat patterns onto your drawings. If you've used sheet metal functionality in SOLIDWORKS, you know by now that it takes advantage of the multi-body design technique in a part file. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, here I have a sheet metal table that I've designed in SOLIDWORKS. When looking at this part, I've divided it into five metal parts, all with their own flat patterns. To look at the individual flat patterns, I'll just scroll down on the feature manager tree and unsuppress the specific flat pattern I want to look at. Here, we can see a flat pattern for the top of the table and each of the legs. Now, when it comes time to creating a drawing, when we look at the view palette, normally we will see an option to add a flat pattern for a sheet metal part. But when we have a multi-body sheet metal part, we don't see that option in the view palette. In order to be able to showcase the flat pattern for all sheet metal bodies, we need to go into the Drawing tab and choose Model View. The Model View command is another way we can import our parts and assemblies in our drawing. After you find the file you're looking for, you'll notice at the top of the Property Manager, there's a Next arrow. When you click on it, this brings up the settings for us to tell it what type of view we would like to place onto our drawing. Now, notice how there isn't a flat pattern option here as well? Well, in order for us to specify the flat pattern, we need to first select which body it is we want to focus on. At the top, you'll see a Select Bodies button. When you click on it, it will take us back to the part file. And from here, all we have to do is select the specific body we want to focus on. For right now, I'm going to choose the top portion of the table. Once you choose the body you want, click on the green check mark and it will bring you back into the drawing. If you look back at the Property Manager, you'll notice that we now have an option to choose a flat pattern. Choose a flat pattern in any other settings like display state or scale, and then place the view onto the drawing. Since we have two different flat patterns, I'm going to repeat the same process to showcase one of the legs. And to finish it off, I'll go ahead and make sure I align the two flat patterns to one another. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And to stay up to date with more tips and tricks, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.